Alright, what's going on YouTube? Skip Mark FD here again. So, uh, this is gonna be another video where I'm not editing, no cuts, anything like that. So, my software is not compatible or not working with my computer for whatever reason. So, that's why there's been a lack of videos actually coming out. It's because I'm unable to edit. But, so, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what I'm doing right now. What was supposed to be super simple it was just gonna be an oil change, change the oil filter, and hit up the spark plugs. Ended up being, it's almost two hours in now, I've completely mutilated my oil filter to get it off. Whole top end's removed, spark plugs are coming out now, but I will show you kind of what it looks like and what I'm working with. I'm going to reorganize some lines while I'm at it too. But yeah, so for whatever reason, my brand new oil filter that had less than a thousand miles on it, seized onto the actual oil adapter, oil filter adapter plate thing that goes onto the actual engine block. And it would not come off, no matter what I did. So. Here is what the oil filter looks like now. Absolutely just killed. All of this just to get it off and still required me putting a screwdriver in it and just wrapping on it just to get it off. And with that, when you do the oil filter, which I didn't know, but it makes it easier if you take the whole top end off. As top end, I mean upper end, take manifold and just kind of lift it up and set it over. So. Removed it, pulled the oil filter, I'm doing the spark plugs. Once we do that, we're gonna double check the oil levels and then we're gonna take that, oop, stand on the wall. Once we take, check the oil levels, we'll make sure everything's good. We'll run the car, idle it a little bit, idle it a little bit, and then we're gonna start searching for this random squeaking noise that I cannot figure out what it is or what's going on. So in the front right corner of the car, when you're driving, there's this annoying little squeak that's just like ee, 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 and I cannot figure it out. I thought it was the blower motor, it's not the blower motor, that's a different squeak. So I gotta start the car, idle it, see if I can find it. It definitely sounds like it's coming from the engine bay. I think it might have been one of the wires that I used, or the, one of the security wires that I used on the uh, turbo blanket. The, I don't know if you can see it, but the turbo blanket. Rub it up against the strut tower, so I remove that, we'll see what happens, and then we'll uh, get on it. So, pretty much you're going to see me cut here, and I'm literally just going to pick up once we get all this stuff done, and we're going to just do a super simple video. It's going to be this and that, put in the video, no cuts, no edits, and just have fun. So yeah, see you then. Alright, what's going on guys? So we're back. I got the spark plugs in, got the oil filter off, the new one on, I cut that little wire that I was talking about on the turbo blanket reassembled everything, and then ended up stripping out the, um, the little threaded part that goes into the throttle body that the bolt threads onto. Stud. So, the stud ended up stripping. 25 year old stud, and if this tube's gotta come off for every oil change, I understand why I decided to strip, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna order some more of those, Maybe if I got the money, we're gonna go ahead and order a gritty compression tube, but I doubt that's gonna actually happen. But whatever, we're gonna fix these studs at least. Uh, we're gonna go from there and see what happens. So, oh, we also did an adjustment on the TPS. So we took it, we recalibrated it, we made sure that the actual bolts and nuts that are holding it on are tight because what I was running into an issue of was the TPS was slowly creeping up the more I drove it the more the percentage would jump from zero to, I think when I just did the recalibration, it was at five. So yeah, so we did that, but we uh, we got it up, started and running. So uh, yeah, better yet, you know what? I will give you guys a little bit of a startup. See if you guys uh, can hear anything, see what you think. Like I said, no cuts, so bear with me.
yeah, there's the startup, there's its idling. Ah, the other thing we did, so on my throttle body, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hold on a second. So on my throttle body, there is coolant passages that uh, were used to control like startup, idle warm, so, so the higher RPM, so the actual engine warms up a little bit faster. And that system was deleted online. However, the actual thermo wax pellet was never removed. So what I ended up going to do was the actual portion of the little lever that sticks on and controls that, I actually ended up pulling it down and uh, zip tying it back a little bit so that it'll actually have a low idle and not idling at 1500 RPM all the time, every time. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. There she is with my ghetto fabulous setup and uh yeah like comment subscribe more content's coming soon it's gonna be better i'm gonna get this editing thing situated so we can actually get some real videos i have some car crews and car meets that i've went to that we're gonna meet up with and i'm gonna try and get a video of this really cool 370z nismo that i actually ended up the owner me and him became friends but uh yeah that's all to come soon stay tuned thanks again again